Hello everyone, thank you for joining this webinar of Zoho Contracts, the contract lifecycle management software from Zoho. So I'm Helena and I'm a product marketer with Zoho Contracts and in today's demo I'm all excited to show how Zoho Contracts with its impressive feature set uh, simplifies the contract authoring process and helps to reduce your contract cycle times. So this will be the flow for our demo today. So first we'll start with how a CLM solution accelerates contract authoring while reducing errors and ensuring language consistency and how Zoho contract approaches, approaches the stage contract authoring and then we'll move on to the most important part of today's demo where I shall show how you can create your own contract templates and manage clauses and author contract effortlessly using Zoho contracts. Finally, I shall end the session by answering some of the frequently asked questions. So now let's get started. So these are the stages involved in a typical contract life cycle. So it starts from authoring to approval negotiation all the way to contract renewals and termination. And in today's demo, we are going to dive deep into the very first stage of the contract life cycle that is contract authoring. So this contract authoring stage gets initiated with a contract creation request. Generally, contract managers or contract authors hold a set of contract templates for commonly used contract types. And when these templates are uh, managed using multiple tools such as spreadsheet and shared drives, they face a lot of challenges and problems in drafting a well-written contract. And these are some of the problems that they face. So when managing contract templates across disparate systems, firstly, it becomes very difficult to locate a particular contract template at a given time. And then to conduct periodic checks and uh, update all of these contract templates to latest industry standards is challenging. And this results in language inconsistency across all contracts. And in the absence of uh, specific access permission for users and a system for activity tracking, there is an increased chance for applying an outdated or error-prone contract template for authoring. And the authoring mistakes or poorly drafted contracts can result in undesired outcomes, burdensome financial costs, and reputational damage as well. However, modern CLM solutions overcome all of these challenges by providing a standard clause and templates library along with advanced authoring capabilities. And also with features such as collaboration and version tracking, they help to uh, reduce risk and improve contract performance. So our approach towards uh, the contract authoring stage is that we provide a standard clause library uh, with legally approved languages along with the ability to add and manage multiple uh, clauses with alternate languages. And then we enable templatization where users can either use their predefined contract templates or create their own custom contract templates for authoring. And one of the unique features that we have introduced in the authoring stage is advanced document assembly that allows authors to easily remove a clause from a contract document or switch between alternate languages under each clause. So this eliminates duplicating contract templates for minor tweaks. And in today's business landscape where regulation crop up more often than ever before, we wanted Zoho contracts to include analytical capabilities as well that allows businesses to generate reports, do a quick impact study and implement all the required changes. So now uh, these four aspects will be the agenda for our product demo. So I shall quickly jump into the product demo and show how you can create your own contract templates, manage clauses and author a contract using Zoho contracts. So we shall start the product demo with the clause management. So the clause library in the admin module contains a set of uh, predefined clauses and you can also add your own cluster, custom clauses here. So in Zoho contracts, each clause contains a standard language and can have multiple alternate languages. So if you see this particular clause here, has only one language added to it. And by default, the first language added will be made the standard one. So now we can add as many alternate languages as required and make a preferred language the standard language. And to add an alternate language, you need to click on this add alternate clause, enter the clause title, and then the language. While entering the language, you can also apply styles to the header using the formatting option here. And you can also insert fields to the language. 
using this insert field option. So if the existing list doesn't contain the field that you're looking for, you can create your own custom fields using this in add custom field option and insert them. So after entering the language and inserting the required fields, you can click on add and make it an alternate language here. Now you will also have an option to set this particular alternate language as a standard one. So likewise, you can add, add multiple alternate languages for each clause. And to quote the benefit of this feature with an example, a NDA agreement that you use for your US clients differ from an NDA used for the UK ones. So based on the nature of agreement and region, the languages under each clause vary. So during such instances, having multiple languages added to each clause helps to easily switch between them, eliminate errors and author fast. And further, having a well-organized uh, clause library helps to ensure language consistency across all contracts. Also, it enables reusability and scalability. We'll now move on to the next aspect, templatization. So in Zoho contracts, uh, contracts are classified as contract types based on their purpose. Example, non-disclosure agreement, product sales agreement. So these contract types are not just the contract templates. Uh, they are fundamental configuration that define all primary attributes of a contract, such as an intent of a contract, approval workflow of a contract. So when you check any of these contract types, you'll find a predefined contract template and associated primary attributes such as category, intent, and approval workflow for that particular contract type. And in Zoho contracts, we have 14 built-in contract types. Apart from that, we can create as many custom contract types as required as well. And to create one, you'll have to click on this new contract type button and you'll be redirected to a new contract type creation form where you can define all primary attributes uh, for that particular contract type. You can select the category, intent, who is going to be party A, party B, and associate, associate the approval workflow for that particular contract type. After keying in, all, uh, keying in all contract type related details, we can click on next and continue. So to create a contract template, uh, Zoho contract provides two options. Either you can import your existing contract templates in MS Word format, or you can start creating a template from scratch. So when up, when applying uh, when uh, applying the import option, since you're not going to use clauses as building blocks for your contract templates, you will miss out on all clause-based insights from analytics and clause-based automation available within Zoho contracts. So hence, I recommend you to uh, build your contract templates uh, from scratch. So you can select the option and save and continue. So generally, a contract template consists of three parts, the intro text, that sets the context of an agreement, the clause section that lists all the clauses related to the contract type, and the ending text that holds placeholders for the signature and details of the involved parties. Additionally, in Zoho contracts, there's an attachment section that holds information for better understanding of certain aspects in the contract. And these attachments include appendix, schedules, and exhibits, and will be present at the end of a contract document. So now we'll start building a contract template by inserting the intro text. So a default intro text will be available in the uh, dialog box. So you can either use the same or enter a new one. Also, if you notice, there are two versions of the intro text available based on the contract effective date. So after adding the intro text, we can move on to the next section of adding clauses. And for inserting clause, you can either insert them directly from the clause library or you can create a new one. And the clauses that you, are, you create on the fly also get included to the clause library and by accessing the clause library you can choose all the required clauses for that particular contract type After selecting all the uh, required clauses for that particular contract type, you can click on insert. 
Later, you can now switch between alternate languages under each clause by editing that particular clause here and you can switch between the alternate languages. And also you can reorder these clauses. Finally, you can add the ending text to the contract template based on the number of signatories involved. So you can include a table and uh, insert, signatory, uh, insert signatory blocks accordingly. So I'm going to insert a two cross two table. Insert required fields. And click on add. Once you are done creating your uh, contract template, you can preview and publish. So this is how easy it is to create your own contract templates within Zoho contracts. This saves a lot of time during the authoring stage and drastically brings down the chance of human errors. And most importantly, it empowers any individual with limited uh, legal expertise to author contracts effortlessly. We shall now see how to author a contract from scratch. So the contracts module in Zoho Contracts is a central repository that holds all your contracts in a single place. This brings in better visibility and with the advanced search and filter option here, you'll be able to access critical contract information whenever required. And to create a contract, Zoho Contract offers two options. You can either import your existing contracts in any state or start drafting a contract from scratch. So on selecting a new contract and selecting a contract type, you will be directed to a contract creation form where you can enter the details based on the agreement you are about to enter. Now on clicking save and continue based on the contract type that you have selected and the details that you have entered, your contract document gets automatically generated. And now the, this contract document by default holds all the con default clauses available for this particular contract type. Now, if the contract author wants to remove any clause or wants to replace any clause language, they can make use of this document editor panel where this clauses tab will display all the clauses available for that particular contract type. So by unselecting any of these clause, we can easily remove them from the contract document and we can also switch between alternate languages under each clause. And with Zoho contracts tightly integrated with the Zoho writer, the contract author here will be provided with all the formatting option that a full blown word processor provides, along with real time collaboration capabilities. So at the time of authoring, if you are unaware of any parameter, you can include peers with specific per permissions and co author a contract. So until now, we've seen how to manage clauses within the clause library, how to create custom contract templates and author contracts using Zoho contracts. Now we shall look into the analytical capabilities of Zoho contracts. So in Zoho contracts, we have 35 plus standard reports for various aspects of contract management. And in this webinar, I'll just focus on the clause based reports. Uh, that provide details such as the number of contracts containing a specific clause. So if you click on any of this, you'll get a bird's eye view of how many of your contracts are actually using that particular clause. And these reports come in very handy when there is any organization-wide policy change or regulatory update. This enables you to do a quick impact study and amend the clause languages and contracts if and when required. So with this, we have come to the end of the session. I hope I was clear throughout the session. If you have any questions regarding the product or with any feature, please feel free to reach us at support at zohocontracts.com and we'll be more than happy to help you. Now I shall quickly answer some of the frequently asked questions. 
So how many contract templates can I create and store in Zoho contracts? So there is no limit on the number of contract templates that you can create and store in Zoho contracts. And also you get 14 uh, pre-built contract templates uh, along with our uh, paid editions. So is it possible to import our existing contracts into Zoho contracts? Uh, yes, you can import your existing contracts into Zoho contracts in MS Word format and they can be in any state, draft, signed and active, active or even expired. And the next question, can we add our own contract template or modify an existing contract template to fit our ne the needs? Definitely, yes. You can edit the existing contract templates within Zoho contracts or you can create your own custom contract template based on your requirement. The last question, can I procure the contract templates as a standalone service? No, you cannot. Uh, the contract templates in Zoho contract comes as a part of our overall contract lifecycle management software solution. So, uh, yes, we have come to the end of the session. If you have any further questions regarding the contract authoring stage or with templates, uh, please feel free to reach us at uh, support at zohocontracts.com. And thank you for the time. Have a nice day.